G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. We're still deep, deep in COVID in Sydney. I don't know what week we're up to, seven, eight, I don't know. If we've all lost count, we're all going a bit crazy, I think. So today what I thought I'd do for you guys is give you another little simple task you can do at home, something fun for you guys to make and the kids. And that's a simple potty mullet trap out of the old plastic drink container. Okay, let's get started on making our mullet trap. The items we'll need are obviously a plastic bottle, any type of plastic bottle will do the job, as long as it's nice and clear. You'll need a candle, and of course a lighter, a sharp cutting knife, like this one, a metal skewer, or just a piece of metal, Some cord, and I like using red, and I'll explain why. So the first thing we need to do is remove our label from the bottle. And then what you need to do then is I find just where the bottle starts to taper off is where you want to cut with your knife. So just drop your knife in very carefully and then just follow that all the way around. And just take your time, especially if your kids are doing this at home, with a sharp uh, down knife. Don't rush it, just take your time. Keep your fingers out of the way. Okay, that's all we need with the knife, so I'll put that aside. And then that way, you now have the bottle in half. Okay, and this is the important part. You rotate that round and turn that back in, like so. All right, and now that forms the neck of our trap. But the problem is you need to secure this in place. Some bottles will fit in nice and tight, but other ones like this just need a little bit of cord to secure them. That's what I had the red thread for. Alright, so the next step we need to do is place some small holes around the trap, two or three, um, just to hold the, ne the neck of the bottle in place. So the way we do that is pretty simple. We'll just get our candle going. I'm just going to heat, heat up my skewer. Now, once we get that nice and hot, that should allow you to just slowly put a hole like that through the trap. I'll just show you that again. Another one just there. And that's going through the bottle and through the neck that we've put in there and we should be able to put another one oh, heat her up again there we go nice and simple an easy way to do it now you could do that with a drill but it's a lot safer I think just doing it that way just watch you don't burn your fingers on the end of the, the skewer all right now we've got three holes around the bottle I'll put my candle aside Time to bring out our red thread. So what we need to do is just cut some short pieces. And then what we're gonna do is just 
go through the holes we've created and just tie that in place. Just with a simple granny knot is fine. One, two, Number two, and last one. We've got a bit of stuff from the uh, the burning of the plastic. A bit of black stuff everywhere. That's okay. Three. Okay, so once you've got the three done, just cut off the loose ends. Again, just be careful, watch your fingers. There we have our mullet trap finished, guys. Nice and simple. And the reason I use the red cord, or red thread, red is a, an attractor, seems to be with a mullet anyway. One last item I'm gonna put in my trap is a painted red sinker. And what that'll do is add as an attractor and also weigh the trap down and hold it on the bottom. So I'll just slide him in there. Just loose, if you want to get fancy, you could probably just put a double glue on him. But um, there it is, nice and simple. So we'll take this out now and give it a test run and, um, and see if we can catch some mullet in and see if it actually works.